How are you? It's been a wild nine weeks or so for you, senior season ending the way it did. Just take me through what the last two months and change have been like for you. Uh, I'm good. I'm just trying to, like I said, stay busy. And um, as far as working out and that kind of stuff, nothing much has changed because I, I have a court in the backyard and I have a little weight room in the garage. So I'm just trying to stay ready. So whenever they give us the okay, I'll be, I'll be in Arizona. I'll be ready. Yeah, take me through. I guess do you have a, a, a weekly routine, daily routine. How how are you staying in shape? Uh, it's pretty much the same as before uh, quarantine. So right now, I'm just trying to stay consistent with it. It's hard to stay consistent when there's no like really no motivation not right now. But you know, I'm trying to lock in, keep myself to it. Yeah, I mean, you, you mentioned the, the weight room and the court, and obviously you, you're growing up in a basketball family. I'm sure it's easy to find someone to get out there to work out with you. Yeah, that's that's another thing about this quarantine. I got uh, siblings and my dad I can go out there and compete with. So everybody everybody doesn't have that. So I'm, I'm blessed, I'm fortunate to have that to, you know, keep that competitive edge that other people might not have. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can you just take me through and revisit kind of what that, that wild week in March was? Your season ended in Dublin, but what was it like kind of adjusting so quickly through those last few weeks of the, of the year? That was, a, that, was, that was a crazy week. So they ended our season before everybody else's first, and, then, and that was disappointing. So we kind of protested it, and we ended up getting the Dublin game. So after that game... I think it was literally like the next few days the uh, NBA got canceled. So I was sitting with one of my teammates, and I was like, "There's no way we, there's no way we're going to finish our tournament if the NBA is canceled." So we kind of, uh, we kind of understood. We just, we just didn't want it just to be us that got kicked out of the tournament. But we understood it. Um, it was best for everybody's safety, and it's, you just got to move on. Yeah, have you been able to, I guess, make peace with? I know that that was first kind of the issue was it was you guys specifically, and then it was the blanket CIF that kind of made the decision. Was that kind of a an easier way to go out in that circumstance? Yeah, it definitely was an easier way. Um, I, I, I've definitely made peace with it as well. Uh, you know, it, well, you can't change it, so you just got to keep going, move, move on to the next uh, challenge. Yeah, and that next challenge for you, obviously going to a top program, in the Pac-12, just take me through what you know these last few weeks have been for you, watching what ASU is doing and kind of building up that anticipation for for the fall. Uh, ASU, this the not not actually not even just ASU. The city of Tempe has made numerous jumps since I was a kid, since I've been there, and it's just good to see ASU actually be able to pull in recruits and. It's, it's actually been exciting to see some people that you talked about going to ASU with you a long, uh, for a long time and they're actually uh, making it final and actually committing. It's just good to see. And it's, I'm excited. I'm ready to get to work with all those guys and hopefully make a run at a championship. Yeah, I mean, what was your reaction to seeing, obviously, Josh's announcement? Were you shocked or at all? No, he, he, I knew the night before. So I, it was kind of that whole day I kind of had to... Uh, play dumb <laughs> everybody was calling me seeing what, what I knew but I, I, I knew he was going to commit so it wasn't really uh, I wasn't really shocked I was more, was more relief like he finally, he finally committed so I'm excited to play with him uh, he he's a, he's a great player of course but he not he's not a selfish player he wants he wants, likes to see his teammates to see and I'm excited to get out there with him yeah I know a lot of people are excited to see you guys out there already talking about top 15, top 20. I mean, again, just, just thinking about this was your dream school and, and paying attention to what the program has done, how does it feel to be a part of this new kind of re-energized era? It's actually it's still surreal to me. Uh, a couple years ago, ASU was number three in the country, like after they beat Kansas. But this is like one of, it's like one of the only times that we've been ranked this high for in a while. So... I'm excited. Um, it's it's just it's just it's just crazy because ASU has come a long way. Like I, when I was little, nobody even talked about us being in the um, top 25. We were even like in the discussion. We were losing and all kind of stuff. So I'm just I'm just happy to be a part of it, and hopefully I can make a difference in the community. Absolutely, and uh, you know I'm sure you know I got my my ASU uh, diploma, my degree yeah. over there. I got you know. <laughs> 
all my maroon and gold, uh, you know, what is it like to kind of just, again, see this childhood dream of yours, you're rocking the hat as a kid growing up, um, how important was it to kind of just see that fulfilled for you? It's extremely important. You know, my grandpa um, went to ASU, he kind of has a legacy there, so I just wanted to continue that and um, make him proud the best way I could. And, like, it wasn't a question um, of where I was going, so I kind of always knew I was going to ASU, but I, I'm just happy to be a part of it, honestly. It's, it's been a long time. I've been waiting on this moment, but now I just got to keep working, keep my head down, and um, make sure I'm ready for the, when the opportunity presents itself. Absolutely. Uh, have you partaken in it in the virtual graduations? What's been kind of the way that you've tied up the senior year for you? Uh, I'm still working. I'm still working on school right now, but um, I got to take a picture of my cap and gown or something today and send it in. So I'm I'm excited for that too. It's you know it's been a dream of mine too to graduate. Uh, and after that, it's, it's off to, it's off to Arizona. Do you have a date? Is it is it just going to be over the summer or closer to the fall? Um, I'm I'm hoping to get out there whenever they open the facilities and stuff up to the players, but. I'm just playing it by ear right now. It's not a specific date, but it's. I think it's. I think I'm. It's nearing right now. Gotcha. How have you been able to kind of just, I guess, stay mentally sharp and positive through this time? Have you been taking up any hobbies? Any, you know, some athletes I've talked to have talked about they're learning Spanish, things like that. <laughs> like, have you done anything kind of off the cuff like that? No, not really. I've just been enjoying this time with my family. I know, uh, working out together and playing outside together. You know. They've really kept the air, everybody's keeping everybody uh, grounded. So I'm blessed and fortunate to have siblings and my, both of my parents in one in one um, setting. So I'm just happy that uh, I have that, so I can stay focused and locked in. Y'all not driving each other crazy yet? No, we are. No, we are. It's a little bit of that too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any any I guess message for for you know the viewers that are watching they obviously followed your season and kind of wanted to root for you guys and see you guys at golden one center uh what's your message to anybody who's watching for for sheldon's basketball season um appreciate all the support um you know i'm unfortunately it didn't end the way we wanted to end but it, your support didn't go unnoticed so i appreciate that and hopefully you continue to follow me and i'll continue to show love to sacramento community and that kind of stuff so I really, I really appreciate everything you guys have done for me.